Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chevy Boy back on the channel, and we are back once again on Demolition Derby 3. So, a uh, new car dropped, and it's not this car, obviously. It is this car, the Celestial, which I'm told by, um, I can't, I think their name is Carrie Lotz. I know them from here. Um, she's one of you guys. Well, they're one of you guys. And I know them from Discord. Um, they said that, or she said that, um, this car dropped, uh, yesterday, because today is Tuesday, April 9th. Um, the update went live yesterday, on Monday, so, um, when I'm recording this. This car actually does not really remind me of a Celica so much as, like, a 2000 GTR. A Skyline... You know, a C10 Skyline, especially with, like, the fender mounted, um, uh, rear view mirrors, and even, like, the rear tail light panel and stuff. But, I mean, I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, but no, and then the next car, this looks to be, like, a Lotus or something. I'm pretty sure this is a Lotus. Um, and actually, it's funny, because, uh, they asked the devs, um, Indy Respawn and Mike from... Uh, DD3, or from Beer Money Games, excuse me, on their Discord, um, I think Mike asked for a suggestion for a name, so if this does end up becoming the name that I think it is, then credit me? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy this. Again, this looks like a Skyline. People are like, oh, it's, no, it's, um, you know, it's, it's the Toyota Celica, but I mean, I guess it makes sense, because Celestial, Cel or Celica, but Skyline is the same kind of thing, so. Uh, we're going to do those, we're going to upgrade the motor. It's got a four-cylinder single overhead cam motor in it, holy cow. It's got a V6 race crate motor in it that you can drop in. Oh, it removes the hood. Oh, dude, you can see it and everything, holy cow, okay. Put nitrous on it. Um... Put tires on it. Do we heighten it or do we drop it? Eh, I don't know. Dropping it looks pretty cool. Put a roll cage in it for uh, chassis stiffness and stability and everything. Attachments? No. Um, what color do we make this? I don't know. I kind of want to put it in like a blue. Maybe a light blue. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my brightness up because otherwise I can't see it for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, that looks kind of like a powder blue. I like the lighter blue also, though. That dark red doesn't look bad. The yellow kind of suits it. The gray is kind of meh. That blue looks just weird. That mint green looks weird, too. I like this kind of, this goofy kind of blue color. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And then for wheels, I don't know what I want to do. I kind of like these. These kind of make it like look like a muscle car, so to speak. Obviously, those do. Sort of those. Those are Mopar wheels. Um, I don't know. I kind of I want to put like a muscle car style wheel on it, but I don't know what to put on it. Um, not those. You know what? No, I'll do those. I'll do those. Um. And then for the wheel color, I think I'm going to go black. Maybe I'll like a matte. Yeah, I'll do like a matte black on that. And then as far as that goes, I think I'll do maybe the stripes. I don't know if I'm going to do those. I could just do the like Chevelle style stripes, but I don't know if I want to. Um, <laughs> like the, the side body stripe kind of thing going on. That almost reminds me of like a um, GT500, like a 69 Mustang GT500. Okay, so then what do we color this? Do we color it white? Nah. Um, lime green? Eh, the blue looks weird. The lime green looks kind of goofy. Like the purple looks kind of weird. The pink jumps out at you. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the white. 
think I'm gonna go the white. So what we're gonna do now, holy cow, look at that speed. The bar is almost, oh my god, yeah, no, the bar is crazy. So yeah, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a race. Um, I think we're gonna go rocking the docks. Let's do nine opponents and we'll do five laps. I can't remember how long this is, but considering that this is a Japanese car, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, hold on. One, two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I had to get the right volume setting, you guys. I apologize. Oh, God. Everybody did the same thing I did. Ha! Uh, suck it. And some of them actually went around. That's kind of funny. Wow, this car looks really small. This thing looks so tiny. Okay, oh, shnikes. Dude, what the heck is with this car? This thing is like all over the place. I don't even know what it's, what's going on with this thing. I mean, you can blame it on my bad driving, but I think this thing is broke. Okay, I'm gonna restart this because this car is all over the place. I don't know what's wrong with this car, but it's like all over. It's like broke. The handling feels weirdly stiff on this. Maybe it just doesn't like the paint job and so it's like rebelling against me, who knows. Or maybe it's just because I haven't been on the game in a little bit, but I don't know. Come on. Go, 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 go. Could be because of the power plant that I put in it. <laughs> it's mad that I put in a race V6 motor. Instead of keeping the inline foot. Oh my god, no, look at this. I can't turn. I can't turn. This thing is trying to. I, I am hitting. Okay, this car must be really broken, or it's just because of like, the really weird wheelbase on this. This thing is a really weird wheelbase or something. I don't know what the problem is with this car, but it's, it's just, it's really, no, like, look at that. It is sliding out on its own and correcting it. Okay. Now oh, this car is broke. I don't know what the problem is with this car, but it's like broken. Oh, there was a guy yesterday that was on Discord, and he was saying that the car like doesn't respond right away anymore. Or some of the cars don't respond or whatever right away to your inputs. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, he's probably wrong. You know, it's, it's probably nothing. I think he's right, especially with this car, because with this car, the car just doesn't want to respond properly. And look at this, it's like dancing all over the place. I don't know what it is, you guys. Oh, look, look at that. Okay, is there a problem with this car? I don't know if there is, but it feels like there's a problem with this. Maybe it's because I don't have, like, traction on or whatever, but I highly doubt that that could be the reason. Maybe it's because I'm trying to, like, turn while the car is moving, or while I have the gas input, you know what I mean? That might be it. I don't know. This car is really weird. Oh my god. This car wants to kill me right now. If this thing glitches out and, like, dies on me, I'm gonna be mad. I'm actively, like, trying to like this car. But it is, like, actively rebelling. What? I'm in third place? No, this is not okay. Stop it, game. I don't know what your problem is. Look, look at this. 
This thing is broke. I don't know what the car's problem is. But, again, I think the game is just having issues or something. But, like, the inputs on this car are just weird. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm not even doing this, you guys. I don't even know what the heck is wrong with this car. I thought about taking it for a police run, but now... I'm having a lot of mixed feelings about it. I'm trying to drive this thing as carefully as possible, but it's not working. There's like a lag between this... No, look, look at that. I don't think I would have this problem otherwise. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think I would. Well, like, look at the car wants to slide out, and I'm not telling it to slide out. I'm not turning it or anything. I thought the guy was just screwing around and, you know, being like, oh, yeah, you know, the, like, I thought he was just talking crap. No, he's being serious. I don't know what that is or what the problem is with that. I mean, let's, let's try it one more time. On the boardwalk run, two laps, okay? We'll see if it still does this, and if it does, it's a problem with the car. It's not a problem with me. I think it's a problem with the car, though. Or it might even be the track I was on, who knows, because that track is just kind of weird. Look, look at this. This car, it's like it has the jitters or something. It's overreacting. And I don't know what the problem is. This car is severely overreacting, and I don't know why. I don't know what's up with this thing. It's being really weird. I'll try it with another car. I mean, I like the car, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know what's wrong with it. One lap. Nine opponents, just because the charger will work. I know the charger's gonna work. I'm gonna hope the charger works. Yeah, no, it's th it's that car. There's something wrong with that car. I don't know what it is, but there's something wrong with it. Because the charger works fine. And you guys might be like, oh, well, you know... Um, you're just biased or whatever against the charger. Or against the... You know, the other car? No, not really. Like, watch. Okay? I can take... I'll take I'll take the, the Gremlin out, right? Same race. And I'll probably do the exact same thing. This is not okay. This is weird. Really short wheelbase car. And I don't know, you guys probably saw a bunch of cars that you've never seen that I did up that don't look right or whatever, but I'll do those later once. Probably after I hit a thousand subs, because... I want to be able to monetize those and stuff, so. <laughs> but I don't know if that'll actually ever happen. Well, not if I'll hit a thousand subs. I mean, like, if I'll be able to 
you know, monetize them correctly or whatever. So. Oh, like the gremlin actually works properly. Gremlin works properly. So it's not even the charger. It's not just the charger. It's 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 definitely the Celica. You know, it's it's got to be this. It's got to be the Celestia. This car is weird. Um, you know, beer money games. If you know what's wrong with this, please fix it. I don't know what the problem is. It's got turbos on it. It's got two of them. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a muscle car from the front. It looks like a muscle car from the back. Actually, it's kind of funny because the Skyline 2000 GTR that was Japan's answer to the American muscle car. Um, if you guys didn't know that, and that's why they designed it like that, but they wanted to evoke like the Chargers and the Chevelles and stuff of the late 60s, early 70s. But um, yeah, no. If you guys did enjoy this, let me know. Beer Money Games, if you know what's going on with this, and if you can fix it somehow, please do. Because, like I said, this thing is acting all kinds of weird, but, yeah, no. If you guys did enjoy this, let me know and I'll catch it on the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.